New tonight, would you donate your body to science while you're still alive? Hundreds of thousands of people participate in clinical trials every year, some of them to help find cures, others to make money. And now CBS2 with what some are calling human guinea pigs. Despite the way it appears, these people don't have anything wrong with them. They're actually all volunteering to take part in experimental clinical trials, testing a number of new drugs. New drugs often get tested for first in human safety purposes, not to see if they cure anybody, just to see if they have any side effects. Companies hire people to do that. Hire people like Steven Turner, who's earned nearly $7,000 acting as a human guinea pig. A friend of a friend told me it was a quick way to pick up some cash. Depending on the trial, testers can make anywhere from a couple hundred dollars to a few thousand. But to ensure results are not undermined, the rules are strict. Some trials are live-in, and participants' interaction with the outside world is limited. They eat only what the clinical trial provides and sleep when told. A lot of people think it's the money, but you don't want to ignore the risks. And then, says bioethicist Dr. Arthur Kaplan, there are the potential side effects. The number one thing to be thinking about is, if they're paying me a considerable sum of money, it must be because there's a considerable amount of risk here. Stephen Hurd is also participating in a clinical trial, but for a very different reason. I'm not alone in suffering from lupus. Uh, you know, there's many people out there. With no cure for lupus in sight, Hurd says he feels a responsibility to donate his body to researching this often crippling disease. Otherwise, we're never going to develop any additional medications. We've eliminated some diseases that were commonplace killers and today are essentially no longer heard of by, by most people. And this is the result of clinical experimentation, clinical trials. But there are countless more to be cured, says Dr. Kevin Tracy, president of the Feinstein Institute for Medical Research in Manhasset. He says a lack of participants is the number one hindrance to progress. Without the participation of the of the people in the clinical trials, some of the best ideas, they will stay ideas. And for anybody interested in getting involved in a clinical trial, there's a website that lists thousands of options closely monitored by the Food and Drug Administration. And for a link, you can go to our website, cbsnewyork.com.